If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Two, one, go for it. All right, so uh, a lot of talk uh, around baseball uh, right now. Chris Davis hit home run number 30 last night on uh, Sunday Night Baseball against the Yankees. And uh, he also made the rounds on Twitter. He uh, responded to a, a fan question. A fan had asked him uh, if he straight up uh, have you used steroids, and he responded uh, very directly, no. And um, maybe it's just uh, because of my age. I was born in, in 1996 and then grew up, uh, or have grown up, in the really the meat of the steroid era. And, um, you know, and, and our own Nestor Aparicio has raised some questions about it as well. Um, you know, Chris Davis uh, hit the scene this year um, after a really, you know, his career high was 33 home runs last year, and he, he's at 31 right now, so obviously a, a huge influx of home runs for him. Um, and it really raises, you know, the question for me as a 17-year-old and as someone who's grown up in the steroid era, uh, do, you know, is, is he clean? Or is he, is he, you know, a steroid user? Has he been? Is he now? Is it HGH? And uh, it's, it really is a shame because I, I think for me, you know, my first sports hero really was Cal Ripken, um, you know, as, as it was for, you know, hundreds and thousands, thousands of other kids uh, in this area and, and around the country. And I think, you know, when you grow up with, with Cal Ripken, you know, that's about as clean as you get for a, for a baseball player, for athlete in general. And to, for, for Cal to be followed up by the steroid era, it was really uh, destructive for me. Uh, I remember my, I think, I think everyone around my age has had at least one hero uh, fall because of steroids. My my big one, uh, as well for you know a lot of people here in Baltimore is Rafael Palmeiro. Uh, I remember you know growing up and, and cheering on Rafi in my uh, great grandmother's den for years. And um, and then I remember in 2005, he um, I, I remember my dad let me stay up for uh, we were playing Seattle Mariners. He was sitting on 2,999 hits, and it was a, a late game in Seattle. And my dad let me stay up and. He knocked a double down the left field line for his 3,000th hit, and uh, two and a half weeks later, uh, I was I was at a, a day camp and we were listening to the radio and we had found out that that Rafi had just tested positive for steroids, and I think, you know, I'm, I've become so accustomed to my heroes such as Rafael Palmeiro and for a lot of other players, for a lot of other people, uh, players like Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens, that you know they fail and and they fail you as and as a young kid, it's it's not easy to take when you're you're the people that you look up to fall like that. And maybe it's just the cockeyed optimist in me, but uh, I I really hope Chris Davis works out. I hope that he's clean as he says he is. It's really tough to you know to take so many blows when it comes to people you know coming in and and testing positive for steroids, and you know. There, I've just had so many heroes that I've seen uh, fail me, and I, I think, you know, I, I have a gut feeling that Chris Davis is clean, but then again, we said that about guys like Palmero, and uh, I, I really, you know, as hard as it is, there are so many people that have, you know, come in and, and not worked out, and Chris Davis sitting on 31 home runs here as we begin the month of July, uh, we, we're really hoping that uh, you know that he can continue the success, and that you know he's not the guy that uh, that that a lot of you know you can call them haters on Twitter or whatever are saying, and um, that I, you know that's all we can kind of hope for here as Oriole fans, and we hope that of course he leads us to uh, some more some more games in the month of October. So uh, I I just wanted to share a little bit of uh, how you know as a a kid that has grown up in this steroid era and how it. Or what it's like, really, to to have, you know, these, you know, my dad grew up, of course, in the the Oriole Magic years in the '70s, and and he grew up with heroes like Brooks and Belanger and Book Powell, and guys that, you know, even and of course there were there were cheaters back then too. We all know that that Garrett, Gaylord Perry was doctor in baseballs, but you know, all, all we can really do, all I can really do, is uh, is hope that that we're now, you know, past the steroid era and that we're we're in a place that we don't have to keep on being suspicious about people, and and uh, of course I don't think that's ever going to end uh, for me just because of the number of people I've seen, uh, you know, test positive over the years. 
So um, uh, that's all I have to say really about Chris Davis and, and my hopes for, uh, for his future and for the, the future of the Orioles and the future of baseball in regards to, uh, to, to people who you know, test positive for steroids. So um, uh, I think Nestor Aparicio is going to come back in here in, in just a moment. Um, so uh, the, you know, the other thing, and uh, you know, Manny Machado is also you know, a guy in this, in this spot. Uh, as, as a young player, and um, hey, Ness, how's it going? The, uh, um, so Manny Machado's another guy in the spot. You know, obviously just hit his home run in, in first home run in uh, almost two months, and so uh, you know, and then leading the league with with 38 doubles. So uh, my hope just that uh, my hope just is that um, you know, we can we can finally get past the the steroid era. Are we past the steroid era? I don't think so. I think just the questions are going to remain for, for a long time. Well, when guys hit 31 home runs on July no, and, 1st, that, that's a, it's absolutely it's, it's a legitimate cause question. for it's cause for concern. It's cause for suspicion, but um, I think it's just I've you know, and I I'm probably repeating myself, but I've I've just seen so many players test positive, so many of my heroes test positive, that you just hope that we're past it, and and there's really no saying whether we are or we aren't. But um, I, maybe it's just the optimist in me. I, I hope we're past it. And you are Max Bookto. My yeah, name is Max yeah, Bookto. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. follow me uh, on Twitter. It's at Max underscore uh, B-U-C-H-D-A-H-L. Uh, you can follow me there. And then also on Facebook and, you know, of course, other social media. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. 